Good day everyone. My discussion this afternoon is all about an overview of what is fiscal administration. So I guess that some of you here are already get acquainted of what is fiscal administration because you are already practicing he this uh, terminology uh, in your respective workplace. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word fiscal administration? So some of you here may think about money or some of you may think about the inflows or outflows of monetary transactions uh, in your respective office or uh, agency. So what is then uh, fiscal administration? So it is defined as an act of managing incoming and outgoing transactions and budgets for governments, educational institutions, nonprofit organizations, and other public service entities. <clears throat> so you may notice that uh, whether you are in a public or in a private sector or even NGOs, uh, the fiscal administration, fiscal administration is present. You cannot avoid that because there is what we call the uh, inflows and outflows of monetary transactions. There is money involved uh, in whether you are in a private or public or NGO uh, uh, agencies. So there are inclusions uh, in fiscal uh, administration. What are they? So this involves the systems. We have also the structures, we have also the processes, the officials and personnel, and also the policy environment governing the intergovernmental and local fiscal uh, relations. So, what will happen if these uh, five inclusions were are not present in fiscal admin administration? Uh, can an agency or department has uh, achieved uh, its vision, mission, goals, or objectives, perhaps uh, it will not. So what are the le management levels in fiscal administration? So first, we have, from the top, we have the top management level who are very interested in it. And second is the middle management who are deeply involved in it. And the last one is the rank and file who are affected by whatever results from it. So consider in your uh, res respective office or uh, agency, you may notice that the top level management are very interested as to the budget given by the government or the budget for the year na raise, Isn't it? Agree or disagree? Okay, so the top management are very interested as to the budget because uh, the programs, activities, and projects in the department uh, may not achieve without funding. And then, uh, this middle management uh, who are deeply involved are the ones who are the ones who uh, kung baga, they are the ones who uh, do the job of implementing um, uh, of money or running the fiscal administration. Uh, say, for instance, the finance department, for example. They are the ones uh, who are very uh, involved with it when it comes to the implement implementation of uh, the money matters uh, in your department or in your respective agency. And all, and the last one is the rank and file. Uh, they are the end. Uh, the kung baga siya, These are the. Uh, these are the people who are affected of whatever the budget, an agency or office, uh, may have. Say for instance, if there is, if the budget is, uh, sound, of course the rank and file also will reap. Uh, the uh, the budget or the results the budget uh, the rank and file may 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 
merit the sound budget considering the results thereof. And there are principal agencies uh, tasked for uh, fiscal functions. So first, we have the Congress, particularly the House of Representatives. So the Congress uh, is responsible for revenue and expenditure policies. So all the policies are has to all, all the policies have to start in the Congress in the House of Representatives particularly. So you may notice that uh, in the, you may notice that uh, in the budget preparations in the in the budget preparation uh, after the after the preparation of respective PAPs or the programs, activities and projects uh, uh, in a department, the budget has to be deliberated uh, in Congress. So after that, after na ano siya na appropriate, uh, dito na din siya sa uh, implementation. Di ba? In, uh, preparation, appropriation, and implementation. And the last one is the accountability. So I, I'm just recalling uh, the learnings in your government planning, budgeting, and control. So again, the Congress uh, is responsible for revenue and expenditure policies. So let me clarify this. The, uh, the policies are not only for revenue and expenditures, but uh, the, all policies that have to be crafted, it ha uh, the, policies, the policies have to be deliberated first in, uh, in Congress. So you may notice that if there are changes in laws, particularly the tax laws, so or there are modifications, mag start gina sila din sa Congress. So for example, there is an increase or decrease of tax rates, so din gina siya mag start sa Congress. Next is the Department of <clears throat> Department of Finance. So the Department of Finance, uh <clears throat> is responsible for revenue generation and collection. We have also, uh, they are also responsible for the fund custody, the disbursements, and keeping of accounts. Now, actually, this Department of Finance uh, has uh, attached bureaus. Daghani sila og mga, mga bureaus nga naka-attach, like the Bureau of Treasury, the Bureau of BIR, I know, the Bureau of Interna Internal Revenue, uh, the Bureau of Customs, and so on and so forth. They can see So, that's the function of uh, Department of Finance. Next uh, is the Department of Budget and Management, who is responsible for reviewing the estimates and fiscal policy studies in close consultation with the National Economic Development Authority, or the NEDA. So, uh, I guess that some of you here uh, are already get acquainted with the budget cycle. Di ba sa inyong respective agencies? So, to recall in the, in the lessons uh, in government planning, budgeting, and control, and perhaps some of the succeeding topics in this course, uh, again, the, the budget cycle in, in includes the, the preparation. Uh, which is to be done by the concerned uh, agency or department wherein they have to prepare the programs, activities, and projects or the PAPs. So after the uh, PAPs, which, so the, the physical plan has to be presented, has to be presented with the concerned uh, agency, agencies rather, say for uh, like the NEDA and other, and uh, and other agency, which is, uh, kumbaga, one of one uh, and other agencies that are involved in your or has the kumbaga siya connected sa imong uh, mandate sa agency or department. Say, for instance, uh, in in my workplace, 
uh, State College. So the pops are to be presented uh, in uh, in Ched uh, to Ched and to Neda. So it deliberate na siya dito. And then after the deliberation, the physical plans uh, will be endorsed. By the by those concerned uh, agencies, Chen and uh, Neda, to the Department of Budget and Management for funding. So, so that's our case, Chen, kay, uh, State College Mune. But so, kung baga po, uh, some of you, of you here are connected with uh, CGS, for example. So perhaps the plans or the pubs. Uh, Kuwan po na siya sa DOH. For example, po sa Mabaho Central School. O for example, uh, ang kuwan po na is DepEd. So, depende na siya as to what kind of uh, agency you are connected with. And the, uh, also, we have also the Commission on Audit. So, which is, uh, which conducts the fund and performance audit to see to it that the expenditures are in accordance with the appropriation law approved. Approved. So, the COA, uh, kung baga sila ang nag-audit, they are the ones who, uh, uh, they, they are the ones who is responsible for uh, seeing to it that the expenditures and uh, the, the expenditures are in accordance with the appropriation. Kung baga, uh, they, they, they are in, they are responsible for uh, monitoring whether the uh, the implementation the implementation of the project is in accordance with the budget or appropriation uh, sa government say for instance if the budget uh, if the appropriation is uh, 100 million so uh, they have to see to it that uh, the, the commission has to see to it that the money given by the government uh, were expended were disbursed in accordance with the law so if not so um, ombudsman is waiving and aside from that kung dili ma ombudsman uh, we have also uh, the the commission may issue uh, uh, notice of disallowance or ND. So anak siya. But of course there are processes before mo arrive and ha. So uh, I guess that's uh, I guess that uh, some of you here are more acquainted on the processes because we have be, because we have. Pers we have because we have personalities here who are connected with the Commission on Audit. Next is the Banco Central ng Pilipinas whose primary objective is to maintain price stability conducive to a balanced and sustainable growth of the economy. Second, to promote and maintain the monetary stability and convertibility of the peso and also to provide policy directions in the areas of money, banking and credit with supervision over the operations of banks and with other reg regulatory powers over the operations of finance companies and non-bank financial institutions performing quasi-banking functions. And also there are uh, economic planning entities or the agencies and offices who are also responsible in uh, fiscal administration and those uh, uh, agencies are I have to have see to it that the fiscal plans and programs are geared toward national uh, development so there are fiscal control mechanisms and these are being just uh, there are four justifications for expenditure control through budget. First, we have to prevent misappropriation of funds, control to implement prospective policy, uh, in, to ensure the wisdom and propriety of expenditure, and prevent uh, deficits. 
So, what is uh, what 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 do you understand about uh, prevent misappropriation of funds? So, so uh, in this uh, in this uh, prevention of misappropriation of funds. Uh, by the way, what 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 do you what do you understand about uh, misappropriation? So to recall, uh, misappropriation uh, may be defined as unauthorized, improper, or unlawful use of money or other property for purposes other than that for which uh, is intended. So it is uh, unauthorized, improper, or unlawful use of funds or other properly property for purposes other than that for which is intended. Now, an individual who has committed misappropriation may be liable to criminal prosecution for a form of theft, kawat, as well as disciplinary action if a person is a civil servant. So you may notice nowadays that there are personalities who have cases filed in the ombudsman or in courts or other appropriate uh, courts. Diba? Uh, also, the prevention of misappropriation of funds requires a review and approval by the administrative official of the line or operating agency of all the requests for money and budgetary allotments, vouchers, and similar papers before payments are made so that policy and law are not irregular. So, dapat regular siya. So, are not, regu are not irregular, and not necessary, excessive, extravagant, and unreasonable. So, again, requires a review and approval by the administrative official of the line or operating agency of all requests for money releases and budgetary allotments, vouchers, and similar papers before payments are made so that policy and law are not irregular, unnecessary, excessive, extravagant, and unconscionable. Okay. So next is the control to implement uh, perspective uh, policy. What does it mean? Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, there are ways of there are there are ways to prevent employee theft and and fraud. So first is that you have to know your employees, diba? Second, you have to supervise them closely. Uh, also, you have to use uh, purchase orders. Uh, control cash receipts, uh, use in use uh, audits, uh, install computer security measures, track your business checks, manage and manage and uh, manage inventory and use uh, security systems. Beware of accounts receivable, and provide a way for employees to report theft or fraud by co-workers. Now, actually, uh. In the government, there are measures on how to prevent employee theft and fraud. So, in fact, uh, in particularly COA, there are some uh, measures or detect on how or measures on how to detect whether there is a fraud uh, committed by government officials. Now, again, uh, what is this control to implement a uh, prospective policy? So, uh, this control uh, this uh, control to implement prospective policy inhibits governmental units from directly transacting and negotiating matters since such kind of uh, transaction is officially channeled through the Department of Budget and Management in the form of budget estimates as endorsed by the President. So, uh, uh, there was a time or until now uh, because I'm no longer connected with the finance department but uh, during the time when I was uh, in the finance department of the college uh, 
there is there is what we call a scheme uh, that uh, we we have this direct scheme uh with their uh, wherein payment shall be directly uh credited to the account uh, of the supplier and uh, this is one way of this is one way of uh preventing uh or combating red tape among government officials so i credit diretso ang payment dito sa account sa supplier so i guess uh, this is uh, this is still practice nowadays in fact we have this advice to debit account or uh, ada and i guess uh, more of you here or some of you here are very much acquainted in this kind of uh, transactions because they are actually doing it uh, in at, in their respective workplace so we have here auditors uh, who are we have also here uh, mga cashiers or mga accountants so ana siya now also we have ensure the wisdom and propriety of uh, expenditure now this uh, claims for payment for public funds legality prudence reasonableness the moral the morality of the claim or charge should be established and for example there should be a review of existing contracts and transactions uh, of uh, of a project entered by uh, an agency or the department so next is prevent uh, deficits now the prevention of deficiency may be useful but should not unduly interfere with agency on the prerogative to carry out programs mandated by the constitution and laws. Okay, say for instance uh, in an agency or the department, the, the government gave 100 million for the programs, activities, and projects or the PAPs to be implemented. Now, the head of office may be questioned. Uh, if there are savings or surplus of money out of those uh, funds uh, in the in the implementation of the uh, PAPS, diba? Uh, uh, the the agency may be questioned why is why why is it that there are savings? Because what is the implication? What is the mentality of the authority of the uh, of the authority? Why is it that there are savings? So. It might be that the that the programs, activities, and project, projects are substandard. The outputs, rather, the outputs of the PAPs uh, may be substandard because there are savings, di ba? So, for example, if the government uh, gave the agency 100 million, so it should be disbursed 100 million in accordance to the specifications uh, indicated in the uh, program of work, isn't it? Okay, so one may also uh, uh, the, uh, an agency may be questioned also if there is a deficiency of the money given uh, in the implementation of the PAPS, di ba? Why is it nga nakulang siya wherein upon the request of money for the project nga that much man but why is it nga the deficit siya so there is there is a query why is it uh, happened so it will it will uh, bounce back to the administrator administrators rather that there is a poor financial management uh, aspect in their leadership okay so that's all for this afternoon and have a great day. Thank you.